Sometimes we may need to just install the IP camera in the open area where the network is unavailable, such as the farm. The one is never bridge is the great solution. Here we got two never bridge, which has found the wireless tunnel. The maximum distance between these two bridge is three km. Now I'm going to hook up this PDZ camera to the front end bridge. Firstly, I will need to use this PO injector to send the power to the camera. The PO injector can output 30 watts. The camera only need around 22 watts while the infrared is turned on, which means the power is enough. By the way, this PO injector is being set separately. The setup is pretty easy. First, I just need the punch code to connect the PoE out to the camera. All right, I will need to move, remove the waterproof cap. This PoE injector is getting power from this outdoor PoE outdoor power supply. It's the DC 48 volt sent into this PoE injector. All right, now I'm going to plug the cable to the PoE out of the PoE injector. And I'm going to close to the waterproof cap. So the next step is I will connect the, the other end of the punch code to the camera. You can see I'm using really short punch code, but in the reality, we can use maximum 100 meter internet cable. So we don't need to place this PO injector close to the camera. It can be 100 meter far from the camera. All right, the, the camera is getting the power. You can see just running and starting up. The next step is we're going to connect the data port the second port data port and to the wireless bridge. This is the cable leading to the wireless bridge. Okay, also need to close the waterproof cap. Alright, the setup is almost complete, it's pretty simple. Uh, the PoE injector is getting the power from this power supply unit, also the data from the wireless bridge, and now it's sending both power and data to the camera using this short punch code, but as what I said just now, it could be a long punch code up to 100 meter. Okay, the setup is complete, let's move to the MBR. And we just need to click the uh, Screen. Now the MVR discovered the camera automatically and it's just by the IP address of the camera. And we click add, double click the IP address of the camera and we will move down to the, the bottom of the screen then the camera, we can see the camera is live but we need to click the save, apply. Alright, the camera is live. And now we can move down to the icon to manipulate the camera. You can zoom in, zoom out, also move. Here we also have the preset position. So we can call the preset position. So we can call another preset position. So the preset position allows the set the place the camera watching. While there's no operation, the camera will return to the position preset position automatically. Actually, we can add multiple PDZ camera to the wireless never bridge. The bridge can take up taking a unit to megapixel PDZ camera. 
we may need, just need to need another device such like the outdoor PoE switch to gather all the data from the different PTZ camera before uploading to the front end network bridge. All right, that's all. If you have any question, please post comment section below. Have a nice day.